natural noise cancellation just by the way this thing seals over your ears unless you have like really big ears and they overlap the headphones what What up, Tech Easy Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. Welcome to my channel and welcome back for all my subscribers and even non subscribers. And if you're one of those, subscribe. And in today's video, I bring you a nice game retreat for all you gamers out there, streamers, game video recorders for YouTube, Twitch, all those sorts of channels. Uh, and the piece of tech I have for you today, ladies and gents, is the Five Fine Ampli Game H6 Gaming Headset. That's right, Tech Easy Gamers. Today we are gonna go really quickly through a nice little pair of headphones, a headset for gaming. Looks awesome because this particular headset is by Fifi, which I find to be a pretty fine company. What? I have tested quite a lot of devices from Fifi, mostly microphones, um, which includes this A8 microphone, which I have done a review on that. Check the link right there. It's gonna go to you and you're gonna hear it and then you're gonna stop. What am I talking about? This microphone works quite nice. It has now been my daily go-to for gaming, for recording just like this. But now I probably have a new headset go-to, which will be <laughs> this five fine gaming headset techies. And ladies and gents and gamers, this headset packs quite a punch coming in at the price of $40, basically $45 I paid for it. That I find to be a steal. I have actually had the chance to give it a little run, right? And the audio quality is, oh, the audio quality is quite nice. And I will tell you why it is nice. So let's start with some of the features. First and foremost, the thing that pops out, that jumps right out to me is the 7.1 surround sound audio that you will get from this gaming headset. You know what? While we're here, let's just grab the headphone that's sitting right here. Why am I not displaying it? <laughs> here we go. This is <laughs> pressure on my lungs. Here is the awesome, cute little, it's not little actually, it's a nice little decent size. RGB, can I get that to focus? RGB I fine headset. Um, techies and gamers, this is my first pair of actual RGB headsets, headset. I've been using a Corsair headset prior to this, which is quite nice. Doesn't have a lot of features, doesn't have any inline features control like this one does, right? It's just a straight up headset. You plug it in, has a microphone and it sounds good, but this one brings quite, brings several things that that headset does not have. This is not your ordinary headset, if I find. Um, so yeah, you have your inline, uh, it's kind of, sizable this little inline controller here right so uh let's just look at what comes packed into this little controller before we get into the actual headset for one of course obviously you have a mute toggle here um now i noticed there is no indicator on the actual device that tells you you're muted or not but uh i believe uh up is the mute so when you push it upward that is the mute side down is unmuted so in case you don't know if you're muted or not you may want to memorize that. All right, so let's look at what we have on the front of it, right? This is the most obvious thing that we have. 7.1 toggle switch right on the front of that. And just by pressing it, you get the red LED for that 7.1 surround sound that actually comes out of this headset. And do you really get and feel that immersiveness of 7.1? I will testify that I couldn't tell if it's 5.1 or 7.1, but it was pretty immersive. The sound is pretty much all around you. Um, so yeah, 7.1 built into this bad boy. On the left side, you're gonna see that there are a few little things there. There's a button and three uh, LEDs on the side of that, that light up red. That, ladies and gents, is your, uh, it's your EQ. So you have three modes of EQs. Now I will tell you that my favorite is probably the very top one. I get the most crisp, clear sound, as well as a nice bass coming out of that. But if you are a super bass head, um, you will want to go with the middle setting. That thing is, it pretty much vibrates the headset with how hard the bass thumps on this. So um, if you wanna 
get into like a movie immersiveness situation, then that may be the way to go if you're experiencing a lot of explosions, action movies, the way I like them. And then the bottom is the most subdued. You will find that your base levels kind of come down a little bit as well as your treble. So here you have more of the midtones shining at the bottom setting. And then you have your basic up and down switch right here, up and down volume toggle, right? Nice, big and big and clicky. I do like that this is a lanyard style uh, cable and it is quite long. Uh, I don't know how long this is, maybe about five to six feet long. But right now I have it on a USB extender, so it's like, 12 feet long so yeah quite sturdy on the way this is built here with the actual inline control unit all right let's look at what we have bundled here in this awesome headset the build is quite sturdy i will tell you right off the back this little uh the pressure on the headset itself is pretty sturdy but not so sturdy that it becomes uncomfortable squeezing your ear as you're wearing it over time and the cushions themselves here are they're quite nice they feel like rubbery kind of leather they get a nice seal over your ears so you will get a little bit of natural noise cancellation just by the way this thing seals over your ears unless you have like really big ears and they overlap the headphones but the top part of it is kind of a leather stitched material here it feels quite nice pretty matte to the touch and view, right? There's no shine or sheen on this headset anywhere. The over the head cushion itself is quite soft as well. That did not provide any discomfort for me over time. Along the side here, this little piece that houses the actual earpiece is made of metal techies and gamers, and it has a nice little snap. Uh, and you can see on the inside of this, there are uh, rivets there that actually lock the headset into place so once it is set on your head then you will know that it is not going anywhere unless your head just grows as you play over time what that rgb is just a beautiful added feature for me uh i do like art gb and last but not least we have the actual inline detachable microphone which is actually a 3.5 millimeter connector which is very easy to connect because you just plug it in and it works. Only thing you want to do is make sure that it is aligned right. So if you look on the actual mic header itself, you will see the perforations for the microphone, right? That is the microphone holes, the vents. And that is basically what you want to have facing towards your face, right? So let's go ahead and test the microphone right now just to see what we sound like riding off of this uh detachable microphone so right now i'm actually on the a8 five fine i'm gonna be all five find out five fine headset five fine microphone five fine life what this is the quality of the actual microphone coming out of box i have not done any kind of tweaking i have not lowered the gain in any way just just so you can see what it sounds like how loud it is let's switch back really quickly five fine a8 desktop condenser microphone, mic check one, two, and H6 headset mic on the fly. Now I do have the volume quite loud. I'm looking here in my settings that it is going way up into the red, but let's see what we can do if we can get that uh, sounding right. So right now there's a little bit of noise happening in my room. I do have my PC, which is relatively close. The fans going and looking at my levels, I get very minimal air sound from the fan. Let's apply some noise filtering to this. So switching over to OBS, I'm just going to look, actually lower the levels. So we're gonna go here, go to filters, and we're just going to add a quick little audio filter. Not, no settings added. Let's just go to noise suppression, click OK. Close. And there's Probably no noise tech is the gamers. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the actual H6 mic. So now with those settings set, let's go ahead and do a comparison between what this little inline mic sounds like with just a little bit of tweaking, nothing much really, just some noise suppression and lowering the gain a little bit. Now let's go ahead and make a quick switch to the A8 
Fi Fine microphone right here to my left. And if you're looking at it, it's probably to your right as the viewer is reversed, mirrored. What? This is the quality of the A8 Fi Fine condenser mic. All right, so final verdict. Fi Fine does it again for me. This is a nice headset. There are a lot of features built into this. The sound quality is very impressive. You have three modes of sound, uh, probably six if you turn off the 7.1 surround sound feature. So if you toggle through the three equalizer modes without 7.1 plus 7.1 turned on, it's basically six equalizer modes because they all sound different. Now, speaking on the 7.1 surround sound, that in game is phenomenal. I love it. So if a game supports 7.1 or even 5.1 Dolby Atmos, that sort of thing, wow, the gameplay is that much more immersive for all you gamers out there, streamers, Twitchers. While I'm on my way, let's pick up some, uh, some twigs for crafting bows and, oh Lord, what the hell? I was just picking up two eggs. Keep the upper hand. He's a giant. Oh, I'm dead. We hide right here like a punk. I'm dead. I'm dead like I've never been alive. <laughs> I asked for that. Quite plainly, I asked for it in pure English. The microphone built into it is A grade. This is very comparable to some of the desktop mics that I've actually tested in some of my videos in the past. Even better than some of the microphones I've tested. Honestly, for me, Coming in at $45 for what you get, it's, it's kind of hard for me to critique or find something that I don't really like about it too much. Um, if I had to be nitpicky, I would say that the cables that, sorry, bro, I have to borrow this just for a second. I know you're drunk, don't fall. So you stop drinking that bourbon, it's not good for you. If I had to be nitpicky, I would probably just say that the cabling right here, uh, it's a little bit of an annoyance cause since it kind of just juts out like that. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to kind of tuck that in. I guess it's made for when you kind of like extending the headset to its max capacity that there is enough cabling slack. I don't know if there was like a better way to route it. But what I will say is that this little thin cabling you see here, it's also of the lanyard build as well. It is the lanyard material. So it is pretty strong. So if you pulled on that by mistake but for any reason it won't be that easy to break apart so if you're interested in this combo and you want to get this a8 by fine microphone as well check that video right there it's going to take you straight to it where i give a full review and determine whether or not this microphone is for you all right and with that i'll see you later and then i'll see you later